Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video we are going to show the process of how we went about doing this rod wrap, the American flag rod wrap. Um, this is my first time trying it so now I'm going to teach how we did it. So uh, we're going to go from there and uh we'll get started on it a lot of it a lot of the video that i'm going to be doing here on the gopro i'll be fast forwarding a lot of it so you don't have to sit there and watch it but i am also streaming this live so other people can see exactly how we go about the process of doing it so first thing we'll do is get this live camera over here get it set up so you can see what I'm doing All right, you can see the process over here on the live feed I'm going to put this over on the other screen so I can see while I work and uh, we'll start taking this thing apart so for this for this flag what we're going to do is I wonder if that's right up Oh no, I dried my blue marker up. Ain't that something? Okay. So an American flag has... Where the blue is, it has seven lines. One, two, three, four red, and three white. So that's what we'll, we'll start out with. That This blue is... I left it undone, so it's not going to show up. Shoot. So we'll use this black for the blue. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you're going to want this to be a perfect square. And this will be blue. And then we are going to start out with a red stripe. Then we're going to start out with the white, then red, then white, then red, then white, and then red. Now that's seven. This will be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's thirteen stripes in the American flag. So each one of these stripes here, each one of these stripes here, is going to be three reps. So there'll be three, six, nine, twelve, oops, fifteen, um, eighteen, and then twenty-one. So we'll have twenty-one threads because each one of those red stripes is going to be three threads. So then we're going to probably want roughly twenty-one threads this way because then it'll make this a perfect square. And then this will be, you know, another three, 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 you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm gonna set this to the side so I can see it. And we are going to cut this one open and undo this wrap. It is a shame. I hate to do it. It came out so nice. But it's just for learning purposes. I like to use these Crayola washable um, markers uh, right here. These Crayola ultra clean washable markers because you can scrape them off. Check, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. On this, uh, I put a piece of tape on here already. Okay, let me see if I can get this light from shining in the camera so much. Is that better? I'm sure you'll be able to see once. Um, I figured to this today I would do a live feed on um, the whole wrap exactly from start to finish i've never done it before so i'm just going uh four centimeters four eight twelve we'll do 16 20 24 28 and then we'll slide this down so i can get 
I'm not going to do all this because I just don't want to waste all the thread. But I'm just going, like I said, we'll do every four and we'll, we'll pick where we're going to start and where we're going to end. This little uh, jig here. The right's trapping. How you doing, brother? It's been a while since I've been out. I'm sorry, man. I just... I've been so crazy busy. It's not funny. All right. So I started out on four on that time. Now I want this one to be half. So I'm going to go start at two. And then we'll go six, 10, 14, 18, 22, 26. Fourteen, eighteen, twenty-two, and twenty-six. Okay, this jig can go away. I'm done with that for the time. Being. I love that jig. It holds the rod perfectly center, and it lets you put your marks on there. Let I me mean, look at this GoPro. See if you're going to be able to see this thing in the GoPro. Yeah, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so we're gonna put a put this in the jig to hold it steady, and uh, I'm just gonna I put a little tension on it. The stupid light is blinding you guys, so you, you can't. It's great for the GoPro, but bad for you guys. I mean, are you gonna? I don't even think you guys on that end are gonna be able to see it. Okay, let's see if I get the light right out of here. You guys still can't see. Let me turn the light off. Now you guys. See, now you guys can see. All right, we're just going to leave the light off. I think it's better off. You guys can see what's going on. I can see it halfway decent in the um, thing. All right, now remember, I am recording on the GoPro for a video, but I am going to do this live also to show the process. So you guys just seen, I started out my wrap um, at four centimeters. Then on the next side, the exact 180 degrees, I started out at two and then went every four. So if you look right here is this, this dot, it's dead center in between those two dots. And I'm playing that out for a reason. So we're just going to start. I put a ton of dots on it because I didn't know where I was going to, how much of this thing I'm going to do. But right here looks like a good a place to start because it's in between my holder. Don't mind all the background noise. Like I said, I got my, I just got home. My, uh, Brothers running the dogs. My nephew's here. It's a little crazy. All right, so we're gonna start out, get right to it, because maybe Marty can hang on to the end. If not, Marty, um, you can always come go back and watch this video. I am gonna close this wrap off for you, so you know how we I go about doing it. And uh, like I said, I close. I go all the way from the handle on most of my rods all the way up to the first guide. So I'll figure where my first guide's gonna be. And then I'll start closing it up maybe two centimeters um, before I want the end so I can get it nice and cleaned up. All right, bro. And uh, I'll show you, uh, matter of fact, uh, I'll do that in one of my next rod videos on how I close off one of my wraps that go all the way up to a guide because most of my wraps are straight to the guide. So I'm just going to spin this one on you guys on the live feed cannot see this as good as the um video the the gopro but it'll be on both we'll be doing it live and i figured i'd do it so we could talk about it if you guys had any questions and so on So I'm only gonna, this is going to be, remember the barber pole video we did? That's exactly what we're doing right here. We're doing, 
we're doing the barber pole video. So we're gonna bring three rows of red. So you wanna go along and try to tighten these threads up as you go. And get some of this thread out of the way. So now we're gonna go with white. So over on my pad, I'll mark up, like I'll cross off that red. So I'll keep track of what I'm doing. So now we'll, uh, we'll do the white. So I'm trying to keep these semi on the dots. Keep everything tight. All right, we're still in focus on the GoPro. Okay, this is our third thread and wrap and stripe rather five and remember there's seven stripes in the first part and then we're going to put our blue box on we'll add a we'll add a little pole on a flag pole to this guy too let's tighten these threads up All right, so now we're back to white. Let's mark that off. So now we got white, and then one more red, and then we start the blue. Keep moving this all around. Let me double check, make sure we're still in focus here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're ready to start the blue box. What really gets time consuming is closing the blank in after. All right, we're back in focus there. I, I bought a lot of these hair ties because they hold that rod from back spinning when you're pulling on it. It's another little trick. I don't know if you guys do. All right, so now we're gonna get the blue out and we're gonna go the opposite way with the blue. I think that's how I did it. I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. Okay.
Never did this before until the other night. It's not like I've done this wrap a hundred times. I've only done it once before, just on a little blank. Okay, so that says 18. We're gonna do, I don't even think we need to do another one. Now nah, we're leaving it. All right, here's what we got so far. Let me show the GoPro first. That's what we got so far. Let me get my hair ties back in. When you buy this thing, I bought this for mud hole. They come with these little flimsy hair ties, but I went and got real ones and I divided them with my twins. I gave them 10 of them and I kept 10 of them. But I noticed mine have been dwindling. And every now and then, tighten your wraps up. Because if you get too much of a gap, and you get too much thread on, you can't close it off later. I think we're about good. I'm really pleased with the way that's coming out, especially for having no light. All right, so next is going to be coming back the other way. And we're going to, we got red on the top of this red stripe. And we got red on the bottom, so we know our next one is going to be white okay so that is uh so now we got three red and then we only got two more stripes of white left to do All right, so now we got white, white, we got two whites and two reds. So we got one more white to do and one more red. And then we start closing this thing up. Okay, so this is our last thread for our stripes. This is the the American flag technically is done. So now what we got to do, we got to add the pole and um, close it off so you can actually see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across the top and the bottom. So the good thing is I don't have to do the barber pole no more. We can go back to the chevron wrap. And the chevron wrap and the diamond or yeah, and the diamond pattern are your main patterns. 99% of your rod wrapping will be used those vid, those wraps will be the base of your wrap. No matter what you're doing, you will be using them in just about everything you do. See, we've been using that barber pole, and that one stinks because it's one way. And then you gotta stop, and then go back, and then go back the same way. That one's a real pain in the butt to do. 
So now I just go around this way. Oh man, I lied. It's not until I get these, once I get this pole done, I can do that. I wanna do three of these on the top. Cause I, if I go around again, I'm not closing it off. I, I don't wanna close it off yet. Cause I gotta put the pole on it. So now, oof. These threads got real loose somehow. How did that happen? Oh man. I'm just gonna wrap this here for a minute. Go back up here and start again. See, that's why I told you I never used this bottom parts of the wrap, the first few. So we're gonna emphasize all this real quick. I want the pole, like I said, I want this pole to stick down past the flag. I mean, I could just close it off now and just have an American flag on the pole. But I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well go all out. So we're putting the pole on it. So, I did one black on top, one black on bottom. So we're gonna go back to the top. I'm putting three on the top. This is where you gotta start really watching to make sure you're right. I normally have to burnish and make sure there's no gaps in these threads. But for some reason, since I've been talking to you guys so much, it's been staying pretty tight. Probably shouldn't have said that because now it won't be, but Survival LT, how you doing, brother? Welcome to the video. We are doing an American flag rod wrap today. We're all patriotic with the 4th of July, so we figured We'll make a little uh, American flag in our um, rod wrap. So we got one more we're going to do up top. This is only my second time doing it. I was playing around the other night. I told my wife, I think I can do an American flag for the 4th of July themed rod. I actually did sell one. Um, it's not going to make it done by the 4th of July, unfortunately, for the guy who bought it. Um, he was aware of that in the beginning, though, so. But things will go a lot faster here in a minute. I mean, we got to close in all this white blank. But it'll be faster, bec I say faster, because I could turn around and come back. I got to keep cutting the thread. We're still on the barber pole. So we did the three on the top. I want the barber pole to go over the top of the, the flag a little bit, just like it would in real life, and then hang down way below the flag. Now you could just go all the way with the barber pole and do it at the end and make it, um, you know how you got those ribbons that hang at the car lots with all the American flags on them? You can actually do that and just not close off your, um, your uh, flagpole. Man, I had a brain fart for a minute there. see this one guy I watch, I forget his channel, DR something, um, he'll get three or four strings, the threads, and wrap them, and do them at all at the same time. Dude, it's good. And he don't have all the sophisticated equipment. I mean, he lives in a very, like, remote area. I mean, he's sitting there barefooted doing these with no rod wrapper or nothing. I mean, he just holds it in his hands and uses 
his bare feet to help hold things and you want to talk about an impressive guy you gotta find his channel he's inspired me on a few things and actually he's got a ton of subscribers and some of his videos get hundreds of thousands of views Mike, how you doing, brother? I was just telling everybody we are doing our patriotic um, rod wrap, the American flag. The liberals probably don't want to watch this. All right. I'm probably going to do two more of these black ones, and then I think it's hanging down enough to... Put the pole on it, we'll start closing off the blank, and then I am gonna sh uh, close this whole complete wrap off and cut the tape off because I have had people ask in the beginning of the video how I close these wraps off. I will have to leave you for a minute and go out and get a brand new razor blade. I recommend using a new razor blade every time you're closing off a wrap nothing worse than thinking you got the thread cut and you don't and chaos happens and it happens fast i've spent eight hours it only happened one time eight hours doing a rod wrap and then as i was closing it off i messed up and it all unraveled needless to say that rod is no longer with us Yeah, we could figure something out, Ace. The key is keep your tape sticky, too, man. Okay. Um, we still got a lot to do. Don't get me wrong. We ain't nowhere near. Okay, we're going to use the gray. Come back down where you can see what we're doing. We're going to make, uh, holy cow, this thing's all unravel. We're going to make a flagpole. And flagpoles are silver or gray, so it's only fitting we use this. We're going to start at the opposite end. And then we're going to come... Oh, I know what I did different this time. It's actually, I'm wrapping this flag backwards. I went from both sides. It's, I'm not even gonna try explaining what I did wrong. But this flag is actually better off because than the first one I did. The first one I did is for looks good for the person looking at the rod not the guy that owns the rod this wrap is going to be um, perfect the um the what do you call it the um the flags are going to be facing the guy who has you know who's fishing with it So we're just going to do three of these and then we're going to close this thing off. Not cooperating. Yeah, I can't believe this is not how I did it the first time. See what I'm saying though? You do something one way and then you try to mimic it and it's 
It's not coming out nowhere the same, near the same. You guys won't notice it, but it's literally backwards than the first one I did. So I know what I did wrong. These threads are all off too, man. I gotta tighten these up. I can see a little bit of flag in between um, the, the rod, the flagpole, and the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the blue. All right, let's tighten this up and we'll start closing this thing off and then I'll, I'll do a little bit of it and then I'll show you guys. Now we just hit it hard with the black, close all that white in, and uh, what's your American flag themed pole? Now, like I said, you could use that white and silver um, twisted braid uh, thread. You could use the white and blue twisted thread. There's so many, and that uh, if you use that in the blue area. I'm pretty sure that would mimic stars. All right, hopefully this gray holds it in place. I wouldn't be going so fast if I wasn't trying to get this done at a decent hour for you guys. Well, let's see if we can get this done right this time. Okay, it's starting to look like a flag now. I think I only got to do three or four more of this one. And then I'll just have to barber pull the rest of it again.
All right, so I'm gonna, once I get the rod wrapped to where I feel safe with it, I always start out by putting a piece of tape over these threads. Let me tell you, there is nothing worse than working eight hours on a rod wrap and then it unraveling on you. So now I'll burnish this to get any blanks. You already can see the blank through any of these threads. So that's all I'm doing is just smoothing everything out here. And now I'll give you guys a look. And then I promised one of the guys this, that was on here earlier, he asked, he's like, oh, okay, after you do all I watch, he said, he learned the chevron wrap from me, but he don't know how to, <laughs> you ain't kidding, brother, tape's your friend. But believe it or not, I've had this roll of tape for over 30 rods, maybe 40 rods, Jim. So, but some people use two-sided tape. So now we're gonna close this off and get rid of all this thread. I'm gonna put a spool on this tensioner and all this tensioner does, is got a little fishing pole on it. Got a little fishing pole on it right here and it keeps tension on the thread for you. It's like helps hold it in place. So we're just gonna put this guy on there. I'm gonna close it off with gray because we're already using a lot of black. So I would normally close it off with gray, but like I said, I'm using a ton of black on this rod. And black is a primary color. Uh, when you're on camera, you do everything backwards. Okay, sorry. Take two. Okay, now we'll go to the center here. We'll jump it. Okay. I'll have that hold it in place. Now I want my wrap real. I want this tension on this thing really tight right now. It is too tight, but I want it as tight as possible. Because let me tell you, I do not want this thing unraveling on me. I got a power racket for this normally. Let me get this light out of here. You guys can see what's going on better. See, I'm just wrapping this gray around here like this. Man, that thing's screaming. Okay, I got about... Oh, man. All right, I got about a half inch, nice, tightly weaved um, wrap on there. And here comes the scary part. What we'll do is we cut through all of this. for you know now why I'm showing you guys because you don't want to nick the blank but this blank I don't care so I'm going fast with it but you'll go through one layer of tape at a time and be real careful Now you don't want all the 
you don't want your cut to be perfectly straight. You want it to zigzag because you don't want that thread to have to jump over all of those at the same time. So now I'll go through and thin some of them out. And I'll make it random. This blade is really dull. And then to make it even better, I go like this and scratch them and they like fan out at the end and they're not so stiff. And then, ooh, I caught my thread. Let me back this up so. Hopefully that's enough. But as you can tell, it's all fanned out and puffy. Um, it makes for a cleaner look at the overall finish. Because it won't jump over a big bump. Okay, so I'm getting towards the end. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make yourself a pull string. All you do is just put a little knot in a string, just give yourself a loop. The knot just gives you something to hold on to with your hand. So I'll just put that through there like that, and I'll just continue to spin this up. Once I get past where I feel comfortable. I don't want to cut this string because that's still bent like that. So I get some slack in it, cut the string. Always use your little plastic burnishing tool. And that's what it'll look like when you close it off.